Feeling terrible after making his friend cry, John calls Harper to the diner to bolster her sister, where she and Rose both reassure Dana over the case. On the stand, Dana's fears are realized when the prosecution quickly trips her up with their aggressive line of questioning. It's Harper's turn. She makes a bold move by claiming that she has no recollection in response to every question. The judge soon threatens to hold her in contempt of court. When Marshall has slipped a note, he suddenly requests an adjournment. It turns out that Sonia, the baby's mother, has changed her mind about testifying and she was their star witness. Before court resumes, Felicity confides in Marshall about the end of her marriage to Tane, and he's struck by an idea. When they return to court, he calls Dane to the stand, something he'd previously said wasn't advisable. He's honest when he whispers to his client that they don't have any more options. Meanwhile, Alf has been enraged by fans of Stevie Marlowe selling knockoff t-shirts on the beach and crowding her memorial shrine to take tasteless selfies. He tells Molly and Kirby that he wants the community to get back to normal, which includes Molly taking his surf lessons. After Rose has testified at court, Alf takes her to see for herself. She confronts the t-shirt seller and demands to see a permit, also querying their right to use Stevie's likeness on their merch. Later, Molly explains to Kirby why he won't be taking lessons for a while. He won't set foot on the beach for fear of disturbing Stevie's spirit, not until the community has been able to say goodbye. When Kirby asks, Molly explains that usually they'd get an elder in to perform a smoking ceremony to help the spirit move on. Kirby thinks they should arrange this. When Alf gets a permit to move Stevie's shrine from the beach, Molly explains his reluctance to help and Alf is more than understanding, 